<laughs> you won't find this in any store. It's not just fun and games. I'm wearing it to train for the Glücklerlauf March in a small town in Austria's Salzkammergut region. A tradition in which ringing bells and colorful caps supposedly scare away evil winter spirits. I'm in snowy Austria in this winter wonderland here where they have a wonderful and weird tradition of the Glöcklerlauf, where they chase away ghosts with these magnificent hats. I want to take part and they all told me I wouldn't manage, that I couldn't even make it for 10 meters. Let's find out more. There are Glöckler marches in the entire Salzkammergut region, but the most famous and spectacular one takes place here in Ebensee. We're now uh, with the Rintbacher boys, and they're quite traditional, so I wonder if they'd let me join in. Servus, Hello, Jungs. lads. Hello. 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 The Rindbacher Glöckler group has been around since 1902. I've heard this is a real man's job. Yes, today will be difficult because we have tricky terrain. It's been snowing heavily. And it'll keep coming down, so it won't be easy today. It'll be touch and go for today's Glücklerlauf. In particular, we have a problem if too much rain falls on the caps. Then they could get soaked and soggy. They're all varnished, but we'll have to see. The rain could ruin the products of hundreds of hours of manual labor. So, I want to know more about these caps, take a proper close look. So, we've come to a real Glöckler workshop, and the owner is also called Max, so I'm sure we're going to have a great time. <laughs> Servus, Jungs. Hey, grüß dich. Hallo, ich Max Höllmoser is the head of the <laughs> Alt Kohlstadt Glöckler Group. So, so, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> The finished caps are stored in a room next to the workshop. Here, 40 different models are waiting to be used this evening. They are gigantic. Time to take a look at the inside, which contains a wooden frame and real candles. Is there no danger it'll catch fire? The risk's pretty low. But it has happened before. How often does it happen? Difficult to say. In the last few years, just once, but eight caught fire at once. Eight? They put down the caps outside a bar and one fell over and knocked into the other. They belong to the fire brigade. The motifs are reminiscent of church windows. Black cardboard forms the frame for colorful crepe paper. We'll give you a chance to practice. I'm tasked with cutting out this flower. I've given it my best shot, but the boss isn't too impressed. With a lot of help, <laughs> this is as far as I've gotten. I think I have a lot to learn. A lot of work for a ghost hunt, which has been going on for 150 years. I can imagine that you could intimidate ghosts with these colors and bells, but do all Glöckler believe in ghosts? All Glöckler believe in ghosts. Otherwise, they wouldn't take part. So, I'm going to go outside and put on a cap and see if I can scare away some ghosts. The Altkohlstetter group let me get in a bit of a test run ahead of tonight's big event. The big, heavy cap works like a sail in the wind. I've got a companion now to help me through the windy weather. Even the youngest member of the Hölmorza family is taking part. In Ebensee, they get you involved early on. That leaves me at a disadvantage, but at least I now feel fit for the official march in the evening. It's a pit stop. Back to the Rindbacher group. A cap like this can weigh up to 20 kilos, four meters long and two meters tall. Time to get dressed in white overalls to match the others. So far, I'm only allowed to help them don their caps. They don't trust me in these wet conditions, for now. The candles are lit at the starting point. The tension is palpable and my hopes are getting higher. because I'm getting to try on the bell belt. But a cap is still not coming my way. Only locals are allowed. 
What does this tradition mean to you? It's just wonderful. It's part of us. It's a bit mystical and, well, it's just part of us. Once the candles are lit, the men sing. Back in the day, only married men were allowed to take part. At least that rule is no longer in my way. A traditional song to lift the spirits for the cold march ahead. We start with a bang, and the march can begin. They set off with an almighty noise, aiming to pass as many homes and fields as possible on their way. That's meant to bring the people and the coming harvest good fortune. As you can tell, they're growing pretty fast, which is impressive because they're carrying 20 kilos on their head. After two hours, the Rindbacher group makes it to the town center like all other groups from Ebensee. Around 300 locals parade their caps around before heading off for the next stage of their journey, something I'm still missing out on. Well, can't be helped. It looks like I'm not allowed to take part. The upholders of the custom are determined to follow the rules. But suddenly, at a short break, I get my chance. It might have something to do with the fact that the rain and snow have caused irreparable damage to the caps. There's not much more I can ruin. Anything I should watch out for? It's important to keep it as straight as possible, so don't let it tilt backwards, because we have the wooden frame inside. It can start to burn under certain circumstances. You don't have to look forward anyway. You only have to see the person in front of you. You don't need to do anything else. Yeah. Just don't want to make any mistakes now. Time to try it for real. It's the last stage of the night for the Rindbacher Glöckler, and it's a real honor that I'm actually allowed to walk with them. But I quickly realize it was a big mistake not to wear gloves. After just a few minutes, my fingers are so numb that I can barely hold on. But giving up is not an option. After all, the others have been doing this for hours. Well, a well-deserved mulled wine. It was a heavy load to carry and a heavy load to bear. But finally, I got to take part in the Glöcklerlauf. And now it's time to say cheers to the boys. The group share one last song. And who knows, maybe they have scared away all the ghosts. And this year's harvest has been saved.